Yeah, I, I don't explain away Colossians 2. I just quote it because it proves baptism is essential to salvation. Baptism is your faith in the powerful working of God where he circumcises the sin from your heart and cuts the sin off. That's the circumcision of the heart. He cuts the sin off of your heart and forgives your transgressions, word for word. Do you know that Colossians 2 that you just referenced there? Do you know it says we're with him by baptism? Like word for word, it just says it. With him in, by, or through baptism, depending on the, the uh, translation. Did you know that? You think you can be saved without being water baptized? You think you can be saved without being with Jesus? Ruminate on that. Now, now let's look at Colossians 2. <clears throat> this way you can know it's not me talking to you. We're looking at Colossians 2. We're going to go to 10 through 13. And you are complete. Huh, we're in the KJV. Let's switch over. And you are complete in him. Who is in him? Remember what we just covered? Galatians 3.27. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. You are complete in him. The only people who are complete in him are those who are baptized, who is the head of all principality and power. If you do not submit to the head, you don't have any hope. In him, only baptized people are in him. You were also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. God does it. When? By putting off the sin body of the sins of the flesh. When? By the circumcision of Christ. When? Buried with him. In baptism, with him in baptism, word for word, in which also you were raised with him. So that's buried with him, death. Death, you put the old man of sin to death, you're buried with him and raised. Raised, death, burial, and resurrection. That's the gospel. With him through faith. So you're with him in baptism, with him through faith. In what? Your own works? No. The working of God who raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your trespasses, death, 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 burial, and resurrection, and your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Baptism. Baptism is faith in God, where he cuts the sin off of your heart, circumcising the sin off of your heart circumcising the sin off of your heart and forgives you all trespasses. One more time. Death, death, burial, buried, raised, resurrection. Why am I doing that? Why am I harping on that death, burial, and resurrection? Because if you don't obey the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, it's flaming fire and the vengeance of God, not an interpretation. This is just straight up 2 Thessalonians 1.8. Let's look at it. We're going to start in verse 7. And to give you who are troubled rest with us. When the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, these shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Look at this. Obey the gospel. If you do not obey the gospel... It's flaming fire and the vengeance of God. Obey the gospel. So from that Colossians 2 and that 2 Thessalonians 1, 7 through 9, what have we learned? If you don't obey the gospel, it's flaming fire and the vengeance of God. Colossians 2, 10 through 13 shows that baptism is your faith in the powerful working of God. When you do it, you put the old man of sin to death. You are buried, death, burial, with him and raised to walk in newness of life. That's the death, burial, and resurrection, and you have to obey that. That's exactly what the Romans did, too, in Romans 6, 3, and 4. And that same parallel account there, not parallel account, that same parallel Bible fact, it says that we are with him in baptism in both accounts. If you think that you can be saved without being baptized, you think that you can be saved without being with Jesus because both accounts say with him in baptism. Let's look at Romans 6 now. Starting in verse 3, do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death, there's the death again, death, therefore we were buried, there's the death, burial, with him through baptism, 
into death, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should also walk in newness of life. Raised, death, burial, resurrection. Death, burial, resurrection. Verse 17, they obeyed. God be thanked that though you were the servants of sin, slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you. They obeyed in faith just like the Colossians did. Death, burial, and resurrection. Death, burial, and resurrection. And if you don't obey the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, it's flaming fire and the vengeance of God. That's not explaining it away. That's providing you the context. That's fighting for your soul. Man taught you you can be saved in some way other than Jesus offers for those who believe and are baptized, Mark 16, 16. They've taught you to use the thief. I gave you four reasons why you cannot use the thief. Bible reasons, in context. Why? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's why. It's out of love for you, for God, for his truth, for Jesus. It's out of fear of God. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. It's because I love you and a let's go to heaven together kind of way. That's why I just did what I did. That's why I took the time to exegete from those scriptures, from Colossians 2, from Romans 6, 2 Thessalonians 1, 8, what you needed to know. If you don't obey the gospel, it's flaming fire and the vengeance of God. That's just 2 Thessalonians 1, 8, Colossians 2, 10 through 13, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Romans 6, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you don't obey that by being baptized, obeying that form of doctrine that was delivered to the Romans and now to you, if you don't do that, it's flaming fire and the vengeance of God. I love you and let's go to heaven together kind of way. I'm fighting for your soul.